Hi everybody. Well, I have a little bit of a treat for you here. Um, I was watching the Queen to the Castle 2 event at the weekend and I was amazed by the skill that the ladies were showing, especially with their uh, grenade throws. And um, Kill Beans did an amazing grenade throw right at the end at the top of this uh, castle. Well, not this one, but the one at, I think it was the one at Devil's Castle to take out four of what, what turned out to be the winning team. And it was a really good really good play and I thought god I am rubbish at grenades I am rubbish at m79s and claymores and all that sort of stuff so why don't I create a custom area for PlayStation Xbox and PC where you can um, download a custom JSON from my github repository for free install it on your server and have this area here up at the uh, northeast airfield so we are we are here now also in the github repository there will be a link in the description uh, below this video and i'm going to go there in a second to kind of show you what there is there's uh, there's the custom json which uh, is the object spawner that gives you all this stuff there is also the .dze file so if you want to customize this and correct any of the errors that undoubtedly i have uh, left in it you can do that there is also a custom cfg player spawn points uh, file as well which will be very useful especially if you're on console um, because when you're playing around with grenades and explosives it's very easy to kill yourself and because on console at the moment we don't have any admin um, you don't want to have to try and come all the way back from the coast so if you use the custom um, sport uh, player spawn points you'll spawn back here and that means you'll then be able to come over here and equip yourself with with some nice basic gear and food and knives and things like that and then come around here get some more food get some weapons maybe get a better backpack and then crack on obviously on PC not quite as important because you could always set admin to be, to be god mode and there is also a custom globals.xml file as well that you can upload to the DB folder and what that does that turns off zombies and animals because you don't really want zombies running over here or animals running over here while you're practicing so the idea behind this area was ultimately I'm going to show you at the end kind of doing the uh, the kill beans move inside this this thing um, but before then what you can do is you can run around and at these tables there are diff grenades there's uh, flashbangs there's smoke grenades there's bandages because you're gonna need there there's the very dangerous um, uh, toxic gas grenade and then I have included some of the antidote just in case you manage to gas yourself and there's lots of these and then there's also M79 grenade launchers with loads of shells for them, the 40 mil uh, ammo. And there's gas, there's smoke, there's, there's high explosives. So the idea is that you can kind of, let me uh, get rid of my gun. The idea is you can kind of come over, grab a grenade. And then what I've done is inside all of the structures, there are uh, NPCs like this fella here so the idea is to practice throwing grenades through windows and through doors and on top of buildings um, just to get your aim better um, and using N79 so for example over here there's a, there's a fella there so what you can practice is and is kind of and I, I'm not very good at these so I'm probably going to miss so if we unpin the grenade uh, tap G to throw it and then try and throw it through that door. Ooh, I don't think I did that very well. Let's see how that did. Now I missed. Did we kill him? No, he's fine. Let's, let's have another go. Obviously, you can grab uh, as many grenades as you like, and if you do a server restart, um, that will then replenish all this stuff. Don't recommend you leave this JSON running on your server because it will suck all of the grenades in the M79s. Here we go. So, as you can see inside the police station, if we open this door, and we go through here, there's a survivor there. Well, there's a target there. So, what we can do is we can unpin the grenade, load it, throw it through, and hopefully bang and then they're dead and so the idea of having these people here is that you can tell you know when you've thrown the grenade properly and what I've done is there's there's people in most of the rooms where there's a window well, maybe not that one 
but there's also for example if you go up the stairs here there's a there's a survivor there so the idea is you get a grenade and you've got to try and bounce it off the wall to kill this guy it's all about being able to push people in strong positions um using grenades stun grenades and, and smoke grenades so we're up on the top of the police station so again what you could do is lob grenades up here to try and kill these um, campers. Now remember, these guys haven't got any armor on or anything like that. So there's always, a, you know, pr proper players with, with like plate carriers. It might be a little bit more difficult to kill. Um, and then you can also sort of get the M79, uh, for example. Let's get some ammo for it. And then you can practice this because the M79 is actually quite difficult to hit stuff because it has quite a lot of um, height on it. So if you see over here, we've got this tent, oh, which doesn't have a guy on. Oh, I don't know where he's gone. But you see we've got um, this fella in this bunker. There's these guys hiding behind this car here. I mean, there's a car in the distance there that you could try and hit. There's a guy up there on the water tower. Um, and then if we come around here... There's, there's these guys here. So there's a guy in the guardhouse there. There's a guy there. There's a guy up there. So again, you could just practice. You see, see how much rays it has on it. It really does rise, and you end up firing over the top of things a lot of the time. So you've got to be quite careful. Say so to kill this guy in this thing here, you've got to aim quite low to get him. Now there's guys all in this ATC tower as well. So you can practice throwing grenades through the windows, climbing up, and there's guys right on the top. Um, and you can use a combination of throwing grenades, throwing stun grenades, and working the corners. So, for example, here at this tower block, you've got the guys on the um, verandas. So you could practice killing them. You could throw a grenade through there. I mean, you could use it as a firing range as well. But also, if you look up the stairs. We've got survivors, so again, the idea here, you, you, could, you could get your gun out, you know, and you could um, do a bit of, um, you know, peeking and, and strafing, or you could practice bouncing grenades off the wall to try and kill them, because um, you, you don't get much practice trying to do that uh, in, in real games, do you? Um, and then over here, you'll have to open the door to this one. But there is a chap in there, so you can lob a grenade in there. And it's just all about practice, you know, spending... 20 minutes, half an hour here, just just throwing loads of grenades, getting used to the action of unpinning a grenade and throwing it through a window. Uh, see what it's like to get flashbanged. You know, then using the M79, you can have a go at loads of different ranges. I think those guys over there were originally in one of those tents, but you can have a go at shooting those. Um, and I say you could use it. Now, the, uh, the challenge, really, this is the ultimate thing. So in the Queens of the Castle event, uh, the winning team at the end of the event has to hold the top of the castle. And Kill Beans and her team had to push here. So this can show you a number of things. Um, I haven't really talked about it yet, but smoke grenades are incredibly powerful. So the challenge would be to... For example... Oh, let's put my gun away. Uh, I haven't got any space, have I? Uh, let's, drop the, uh, let's, drop the, let's drop the rifle for now. Take a smoke grenade. In fact, let's take a couple of smoke grenades. So the challenge would be, if you were going to assault this this building with, you know, how, how would you do it? Bear in mind that there's people with weapons um, covering the the, uh, the entrances. So one of the things you may want to do is you may want to try and um, uh, smoke it first. So, if, so you see how rubbish that is. But you see how hard it is to throw a smoke grenade. So the challenge would be to try and get a smoke grenade inside there or get a grenade through that door and then push up here and this this is what happened in the game and i think in the game there was there was a mine there which took some players out um, and i think there's a claymore here and then you can get up to this bit here and then in the game up here was i think it's ariana and uh, her teammates were all in this area covering with their, their guns anybody coming up these steps. In fact, there was someone here as well, but I can't really spawn someone in. So the challenge, and what what um, what Killbeans did was she bounced the grenade off there and it came up here and it killed about, I'm sure it killed four 
of the of the what turned out to be the winning team. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough because they still had players to to cover. So when she rushed up, she got killed. But it was a brilliant example of how you can use throwables to uh, to push an entrenched position. So you know you could throw a grenade up there or throw some smoke up there, throw a, a flashbang. And I guess you know, and the final bit would be again and and in the in the in the event they did have players up here would be again to as you're approaching here you know bounce a grenade off there or off that wall onto the top to kill the players that are on the top you know or you could you know get your gun out or kind of use an m79 um, or a gas grenade all that sort of stuff it's just just to practice these um these uh explosive techniques that you can use and smoke i mean i can't really stress high enough how important smoke is i mean and you can use you know practice using smoke to, to cover an area now there is also over here another area that i wanted to um show you um that i've done which is a practice area for i guess you could use it for the m79 but it's also for the claymores and the ieds because i wanted with all of this i wanted practical um examples where you can play around with explosives or smokes um to, to see what real effect they have in in daisy um now wobo is the king of making you know what weapons do what damage and, and that sort of stuff um but i wanted an example that you could put on your server whether that be your your, your console uh, remote uh, community server your pc one or even on your local server just to play around with stuff so the idea of spawning in all these unfortunates is that you can fire say an m79 at them or throw a grenade at them and really see what the blast radius is to give you an idea because it is pretty big so there's three groups of um, volunteers here and so you can use m79 or if you come over here what i've done is i've laid out the bits you need to make um, remote explosives so there's the claymore there, which you can combine with the remote detonator, and you can set up a claymore just to, you know, see how that works. So you you could put a claymore, for example, in the middle of these guys, um, and you could see like the kill range from the front and the back. And I've also included protective cases and uh, electrical repair kits, so you can make the IED, and then you can add the plastic explosive to the IED and the remote detonator, and you can, you know, plonk down a uh, an IED in the middle of these peeps set it off and you can see the blast radius you know actually be able to visualize it so the next time you're in a game and you're thinking about using one you think well how far away do i need to get um you'll, you'll have this visualization hopefully um so this is the m79 so if we fire the m79 into the middle of these guys you'll see the blast radius you know so it's pretty pretty big um but you know th those people survive so what's that probably about 20 meters across something like that and you you can play and you could do that with grenades and and all sorts of things. Whew, right, so there we go. So that's kind of an ex, an explanation of the area. So let's go and have a look at the files. Uh, here we go. So this is the GitHub repository. Um, I'll put a link in the description below the video to get the files. It's dead easy. All you do is you click on code, um, and you download the zip, and that will download them. The only ones you're really interested in are the readme.txt, which gives you the exact instructions you need to install these files, uh, the globals.xml, that one when you install it in the db directory on your server will stop zombies spawning in and stop um, animals spawning, just make sure you keep a backup of the vanilla file so you can replace it. Um, there is the um, editable nade so if you've got um, daisy on PC and you've got the daisy editor mod you can load that into the daisy editor mod and customize customize it however you want that's fine um, and then you've got cfg player spawn points that xml so you load that into the root directory of your mission folder and that will make sure that if anybody dies they end up back at the northeast airfield very useful for console where you don't have admin powers um, and uh, where was the last bit Oh, and the nade practice range .json. So that is the actual that that's the custom object spawner JSON. All the other stuff is just it's just pictures because I thought people you know, sometimes it's nice to have pictures in it so you can kind of see see the I like adding pictures. <laughs> now the README includes all the instructions on exactly how to install it. Um, if you if you're familiar with custom JSONs, it really you you won't have any probably problems with this. But basically, you download the zip. 
you extract the files you're going to upload the um uh, the nade practice.json to the custom directory on your on your um, server um, all console nitrado servers have the custom directories where we do have to put them um, inside the mission folder if you haven't got a custom folder because you're on pc just create one um, and then you can pop it in there and then the instruction should be exactly the same then you make sure your cfg gameplay uh, .json is um, activated from your server dz.cfg or in the advanced settings on nitrado uh, or in the general settings i think it is on console and then you change the object spawn array align to include the nade practice range.json if you want to use the um, globals.xml that stops the zombies and stops the animals use that if you want to use the custom cfg player spawn points that should say .xml i'll have to edit that and change that then use that highly recommend that for console though because what's going to happen is you, you're going to make your way to the area or your players are they're going to take a grenade and they're going to use it wrong they're going to kill themselves they're going to end up back on the coast and they're going to be like oh well that's no good is it um, and then once you've got all that uploaded restart your server and then the range will appear also i guess if you've got the um cfg player spawn points xml uploaded or even on pc it means that other players who fancy having a go you can just say well look store your gear somewhere at your base then F11, you know, kill yourself, and then you'll appear at the practice range. And there's enough spare gear at the practice range um, for anybody who, who spawns in new. You know, you just spawn in new, you just come over here, and then um, you just grab yourself some... There's clothes, boots, gloves, there's a hat, there's a backpack. You know, there's all the basics here um, to, to give you enough to be able to survive so that once this is finished, um, you'll be able to get back to your base anywhere on, on Chernerus. Um so yeah, so there we go. So hopefully you'll find this useful. Um, if you do, hit like on the video. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Please put in the comment section the experiences you have here as well. Does it help or has it helped? Will it help your grenade practice? Um, and I'm looking forward to spending a lot of time here lobbing grenades through windows, frying M79s at distant targets and uh, generally having fun doing that. So there we go. Well, anyway, that's enough from me. Um, thank you very much for... Um, the Queens of the Castle event um, to give me the inspiration to do that and especially that throw by um, Kill Beans. It was absolutely amazing. Um, you should lo look it up on YouTube. It was a really really cool move. Um, so there we go. That's enough for me and I will see you again soon.